Larry, if you uh, could uh, give the uh, audio, turn the audio on for the uh, presentation, that'd be great. Um, all right, so uh, I'm going to start off the uh, September uh, TAPR committee meeting. Um, so right now we only have uh, one project uh, to review. It is uh, Fire Station 3. Um, I'll go ahead and get the uh, presentation out of the way and then I'd like to hear your comments um, and questions. Seconds. And with any luck, you are seeing my presentation. <laughs> um, George, does that look good, Mona? Me? Yeah, great. All right. Um, so the, let's see. There we go. Uh, so Fire Station 3. Um, the site is on uh, North Liberty Street, uh, just after it passes under um, 52. Um, the project itself includes uh, two uh, parcels. Um, this is the uh, state current station that is existing there now. It has the fire station itself and then an existing storage building, which I will also be showing. Um, the storage building will be removed. Um, actually, both structures will be removed and then the new station will be built. Um, this is uh, the site if you're looking uh, down North Liberty Street uh, to the north. And this is, uh, if you're looking down the center of the site, you can kind of see uh, the back fenced in area uh, for parking for the uh, firefighters. Um, and then the uh, public parking area on the other side of that, along with the storage building in the background. Um, these are actually the trees uh, along the edge of the property uh, that are going to be kept. Um, the uh, larger trees, I believe, are the ones they're keeping. Uh, this is the back of the storage building itself. Um, and this is the front. The other selection of trees that is being kept are, I believe, the ones that I've taken are in the up right corner of the screen. Um, as far as the site plan goes, um, the existing building uh, that is marked on the site plan uh, was the first uh, building you saw uh, that had a uh, driveway coming off of uh, Liberty Street. Uh, the, uh, the storage building is actually, that is currently existing is actually almost right on top of where the new building will go. And the first set of trees um, that are being kept are in the bottom uh, right corner, and the ones being kept are along the fence line um, in the top uh, left. Uh, the, the new site will be um, accessed by the public from the back. Um, it will be keeping the uh, same diagram of having public parking and then fenced off uh, parking for the uh, firefighters. Uh, the major difference here being uh, that the parking area itself um, will be behind bushes and trees and the building itself and probably be a little bit more hidden uh, from even the side and rear streets. As far as the program itself, um, I know when I sent out the staff report, it had three bays for fire trucks. Um, that has the building itself has been slimmed down a little bit. There are now only two bays, um, but the layout remains mostly the same with uh, service and equipment areas, along with sleeping quarters and stuff on the two sides of the uh, fire truck uh, storage area. As far as the elevations themselves, uh, these have changed slightly too since the uh, staff report. Um, they are maintaining the overall uh, curved roof to kind of fit the typology of the airport, uh, but they have changed the sign that is over the fire truck bay. Um, 
and uh, the building has been uh, shrunk in. Uh, these are the uh, side elevations, which you have not seen yet, but was uh, requested. Um, and so I asked Bill here and was able to get them. Thank you so much, Bill. Um, as far as the materials go, that has not changed though, and they should still be um, the materials that were, uh, you saw uh, kind of suggested in this uh, older iteration of the elevations that still had three bays and the old um, sign for the fire station. So um, my, my first comment still applies. Um, staff is pleased with the use of the uh, curved uh, roof typology uh, that's reminiscent of the uh, Smith Reynolds Airport. Uh, though the second comment no longer does apply because they actually have changed uh, the signage since I sent out the staff report. Um, so uh, in the original, um, the three came before uh, Winston-Salem Fire Station and was larger and we felt that it threw off the uh, composition of the sign. And uh, the newer iteration, as you can see in these elevations, we believe is more balanced as opposed to the previous. Um, so yes, uh, please uh, comments uh, from uh, the committee, questions? Um, can we go, yes, can we go back to the main elevation? There we go. Yeah. Um, what are, what's the material of the lintels over the doors and window? That's precast um, concrete. Okay. And the curve, the curve is precast as well? Yeah, the curve will be a, uh, a Luca bond. It's an aluminum panel. So it kind of ties back to the airport motif. I see. And is that the same kind of color or material as the roof or? Is it, uh, it most likely will be, yes. Okay. Great. Thank you. Certainly. And just to clarify, the, the third apparatus bay is being taken as an alternate. So if they have the money, they, they will build it. If they don't, then we'll stick with two bays. I see. Thank you. Um, well, I, I like the curved roof. I think that's a nice element. Um, I actually do think the building looks better with three bays because it looks more, um, you know, the mass of it, I think, works better. But, you know, that's obviously I, I agree. <laughs> that's a budget issue. Um, but I do appreciate the that curved roof. I think that helps that a lot. I agree about the curved roof. Um, I think the two bay one, the curved roof definitely doesn't have as much of an impact. So maybe uh, raising a little bit or just making it a little, like the curvature a little steeper, that might help make it look a little bit more prominent. But overall, I think it's it's a pretty solid design. All right. Oh, wonderful. Um, I think those are uh, very constructive comments. Uh, thank you. Uh, as far as uh, projects, uh, that is it for this, um, this meeting. Uh, we didn't have as many uh, this, this month. So thank you. Florida? Yeah? This is George. I have a question. You said sure. the bay was being left out because of budget, but what's the difference between a two and a three bay in terms of cost, because if the station ever needed to grow, coming back in later, the cost, you know, to rearrange those those entrances or bays would be probably much higher. Well, it's about a quarter of a million dollars. And, and here's, the station will function fine with two bays, but it won't be as flexible. So they, they have some larger equipment that's not at every station, but they move it around from station to station. So it can be in the same, 
not vicinity, but the same zone, but not just not this station. So it's really a question of flexibility over overall function of the station. I see. Well, you did say that if, if the budget seemed to allow, the third bay would be implemented. Is that right? Yes, that is correct. Okay. Uh, hi, this is Mona. My question at, again on the third bay, is it being removed or considered to be removed because of the uh, population growth projections in the, in that area? Or is it not going to grow or do they just anticipate it, it's not needed to be that large? What, what they've told us, my understanding of, of that is it's not the funk, the day-to-day -day function of the station that needs the third bay. It's that flexibility. If they have some event that happens up there, some kind of disaster or something like that, they've got special equipment they bring in from some other station that would be housed in that third bay. Okay. So it's, it's not the daily function of the station that needs that third bay. And, and what's the opportunity for another fire station to be built in that area in the near future? That, that I don't know. That's a, that's a Chief Mayo question. Okay. All right. Thank you. Certainly. Um, any other uh, good questions? Um, sorry, I almost ended too soon. <laughs> hey, Keith. Um, we can't hear you, Keith. I can see you talking, though. Still muted. He's in his car. Yeah, don't be safe, please. <laughs> How about now? Yes, we go. can hear you now. Okay. Um, I'm, I was looking at those elevations, and I'm wondering, would it be possible to increase the size of the glazing or increase the number of windows to let a little more light in? Uh, maybe the size. Um, the... the yeah, size we can probably do. Those bedrooms are kind of tight with, with furniture and things like that. Um, but we can get more light in the day room and the kitchen, sure. Yeah, just it, it just it just appears that the windows are quite small. All right. I had another question um, regarding the site plan. Regarding the site um, plan? Okay. Uh, sure. Do you want me yeah, to bring it, that it, up? Um, yeah, if you, if you don't mind. Certainly. Right. So, there you go. So, it, it looks like the drive access, and I'm looking at this on my phone, so I can't really see, but on the plan south side of the entrance, mm -hmm. I'm not sure which street that, that is. Is that the is that where the trucks, I mean, the fire trucks would go in from the south side and exit out on the north side of the plan? That is correct. It, it looks like that turning radius is going to be really tight for that, th that so bay. We, that's... we are working through that. When, when At the point we got this drawing from the civil guy, he was still playing with elevations because there's some grade change between the street back there at the bottom of the plan. Right down to the floor level of the fire station so he was still trying to get that grade worked out when we when we did this but we'll pull that that radius that's on the left over and open that up some okay all right yeah that was i was just concerned about access and it's located where it is because this existing station is going to stay in operation until this new one's built then they'll tear that one down okay but they but they can adjust that slightly if they need to Yes. Great. Thanks. Sure. No problem. Also looking here at the site plan, um, I do have a small comment about uh, maybe extending the sidewalk so that uh, the area where the firefighters actually park, um, they don't have to like trope through the parking lot just to get to uh, the sidewalk, maybe extending it a little bit or creating a more formal entrance for them from their yeah, own we can put a, that, That's a fenced in area, so we'll, we'll put a, a gate in the fence. Yeah. And let them out. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, those are really great comments. Um, thank you. Um, anyone else? Oh, I, I appreciate um, all the uh, considerate work and thoughts. Uh, I think that'll help a lot in improving the uh, fire station. Um, if no one else has any comments, then I think that shall be the end of our uh, TARP meeting. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Bill.